Okay, so in this week's Tech Talk, we're going to talk about electronics, and uh, for this, we're inside Gordon Shannon's Honda Civic NGTC Challenger. The dash display. Now, this features uh, a number of information points that are fed to the driver. Up here, you've got the shift light module, and down here, you've got the actual display itself, which features a number of information points to feed to the driver, such as engine speed, road speed, and temperatures and pressures. In the switch panel, the driver can control a number of elements on the car, such as the indicators, lights, windscreen wipers, ignition and start and fuel pumps. The last part of the controls we'll look at is the driver's steering wheel. As well as steering the car it features a number of controls on it such as engine mapping, radio activation, light flash, handbrake and pit lane speed limit. If we move over to the passenger side of the car you can see down in the footwell here there's a number of electrical components such as the power control box, the engine ECU and the steering ECU. Now you'll see a number of data points. This top one here is where we collect chassis and engine data for the team to use. This port here is used by our engine manufacturer, Neil Brown Engineering, to collect their information. And these bottom two ports are used by the championship organisers to check the scrutiny and loggers on the car. A brief overview of all the uh, electrical components that are used in the Honda Civic Touring Car.